phone. Want to figure out if you need life insurance? Here to talk with me is Haley Talitsky from Cook Capital. Hi, Haley. Hey, Hannah. Thanks for having me. So can you go over some of the questions one might have when choosing life insurance and what to, deter- what to determine? Um, specifically, how do I know if I need life insurance? Yeah, that is a great question. And I want to start out by just mentioning that death by no means is an easy conversation to have, but it is really important to plan for when it comes to protecting your loved ones. And so in this article, we're talking about term life insurance only, not whole life or permanent life insurance. So just make sure that you're aware of that. And basically term life insurance protects your loved ones because it provides a stated death benefit, which is typically a lump sum of tax-free money to your beneficiary upon your death. So how do I determine if this is something that I need? Yeah, I think a common misconception amongst many people, especially younger individuals, is that I don't need life insurance. It's for older people. I'll worry about it later on. But if you have anyone in your life that relies on you financially or for your support, you probably need term life insurance, especially if you have children, if you have outstanding debt that you have co-signers or joint ownership with, or if you own a business. Even if you're a stay-at-home parent, you want to consider the financial value that you provide, whether it's childcare, housekeeping, grocery shopping, that all has a financial value. So you might also need term life insurance. So how much coverage should I have? Yeah. So when it comes to applying for a policy, you want to think about two things. First is your death benefit. So this is the amount of money that would go to your beneficiary if you were to pass away. A standard rule of thumb is that you want six to 10 times the amount of your annual income in death benefit. However, that is just a very basic standard rule of thumb. So you wanna think about um, if you have children or any outstanding debt that needs to be covered as well. There's some really great life insurance calculators online that can help you. And you can also work with a life insurance agent that might be able to help you determine the amount um, of death benefit that you need. And then second is the term. And so the term is the amount of years that the policy is in place. Quite often that's 10, 20, or 30 years. And a lot of times people think about the term that they need. Um, They often think about when their children will be out of college and graduated, they would no longer need the life insurance or when their spouse or significant other can live off of their accumulated savings or investments, that might be the time that the term could end. So can you explain a bit um, of stacking term life insurance? Yeah, so stacking is a really easy way to cover, Have a, basically now you have a higher death benefit. So your premium is gonna be a little bit larger, but the term's gonna be shorter. And so there's a great example in the article. Sometimes it's a little bit more easier to understand visually, but that would cover any, a lot of times like dentists and doctors and lawyers, you have a lot of student debt. So having a higher death benefit is going to cover that debt until it's paid off. But with the way life insurance works, the younger and healthier you are, the cheaper the premium is. So you might also want to get another policy to lock in that low premium over a longer period of time, like 20 to 30 years. So you're just getting two policies one with a higher death benefit, shorter term now, and then locking in a longer term with a lower premium moving forward. Okay, and lastly, how do I apply? Yeah, it's very easy to do. So you can either do it online through a reputable insurance company or through a life insurance agent. Basically the process is pretty straightforward. You're gonna apply, it's gonna ask you a series of questions about you and your medical history. Um, Sometimes you'll have to complete a paramed exam. Quite often someone comes to you and just does some lab work. And then from there, the application goes into underwriting. And so the company is going to review your medical records and your application. And then once you're approved, you just sign and you pay the premium. So the premium can be paid annually, which is usually cheaper, but you also could pay um, quarterly or monthly if that works better for you. Just make sure you pay that premium each year, because if you forget to pay your premium, you're going to lose your coverage and then you'd have to reapply. So if five years down the road, you forget and you don't pay your premium and maybe you're a little bit older and a little bit less healthier than you were when you were younger, your annual premiums could go up when you have to reapply. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add as well about life insurance? Yeah, just make sure that you are checking your beneficiaries annually. Uh, Life obviously has a lot of changes, so you want to make sure that your beneficiaries are up to date. Um, We've seen cases where someone passes away and then the money doesn't go to the intended person because that person forgot to update their beneficiary and adding a contingent beneficiary as well. Just make sure that your money is going to who you want it to. Okay. Well, great. Thank you, Haley. It was so great talking about life insurance with you. Thanks for having me.